They've all got names, you know. Now we're farming a proper job. Here we have the Westerman Cleanelian CM2, which is a ride-on multi-tool. And in a previous video, I used it for clearing moss and clearing some horrible yard areas with a big fat wire brush on the front of it, which worked amazingly well. This time, we're at a farm and we're very privileged to come to this very posh dairy farm to be able to use some other attachments in the more agricultural sector. So we are going to be scraping it with the scraper and with the cubicle brush. And then we've got this massive auger on the front to be able to go up through the silage and push the silage into the cows. Without further ado, let's get on it and have a go. Tested by Machinery Nation. First job, I need to change attachments. I need to take the auger off and put the scraper on. Right, let's start her up. <laughs> yes. Nice. Woohoo! We're all hitched up and ready to go. So we're just waiting for the cows to come out, and um, there seems to be a trapper and scraper here trying to do our work. Right, so first of all, we're going to just try some scraping because we're the opposite side from the cubicles. So I'm not going to use a brush for a minute, just a scraper. Scrape this down through and see how we get on. Been a long time since I've scraped a yard, that's for sure. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha Into the slats. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> Whoop! I got a bit of speed now. <laughs> Look at it go! Woo! Oh, it's a bit thicker here. Right, so we just used some large area scraping, which, you know, being a compact machine necessarily isn't exactly what it's designed for. So now we're going to use the brush on the cubicles to brush off the cubicle mats down here and scrape up between. And then the tractor comes down through and scrapes up the middle. That's the whole idea of how this works. Obviously, if you're on slats, you wouldn't even have to worry about having the tractor. You could just have this because it just pushes everything into the slats. So let's now try and control the brush on the slats. It's my first time doing it, so it might take a couple of goes to get it right, but let's, let's do it. Let's just, let's just go for it. Now we're farming. <laughs> Look at this, Shane. Yes. I should probably have a mask on for this. <laughs> As a compact machine for a scraper and a cubicle brush, I'm thoroughly impressed. I didn't think the nylon bristles would clear the 
we'll put it politely, cow muck off of the bed as well as it did. It done a superb job. And it was all dried on and crispy. I thought it was just going to smear it everywhere. Oh no, it just cleaned it off beautifully. So well impressed with that. The scraper obviously isn't designed for large areas or for large volume because it's more designed for slat work. So if you've got slats, bang on. But it can do it if you want it to. And then obviously with this, you go through the sides, each side, and then the track that would come and do the heavy work. But the best thing about this is how close and clean you can get to the edge of those cubicle beds. Everything is right here, nice and easy to get to. What more could you wish for? Anyway, I think it's time we put on the silage auger and go and feed in the silage rather than having to use a fork. Let's crack on. This is the attachment I am most excited about, without a doubt, because if you've been there forking in silage, which you probably won't be watching this video unless you have, forking in silage all the way up through there manually is quite a task. Or even with, there's lots of different silage pushers on the market, but a mechanical one, yeah, this is what we want, this is what we like. Oh yes, hello cows. Are you ready for some food? Yeah, let's do that. All right, suit yourself. And, no, pause. Oh, it's already working. I don't know if I want rev or not yet, so let's um by the right height, I have no idea. Ha <laughs> ha! Easy, isn't it? This is like this is what you call a proper job. Yeah. It is we're feeding silage. Sat down, not using my arms. Well, I'm steering. I'm in a straight line. Look at the little faces, they're happy. They're getting fed. <laughs> Hello, Daisy. We're feeding you. Hello, Jemima. They've all got names, you know. Even when there's 500 of them. I think most of them are called Daisy and Jemima. <laughs> this is great. Look how happy Daisy is. She is really happy. Nice. Blah, 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 blah. Yum, yum, yum. Right, so I'm super impressed with this. I, I, I love it, I absolutely love it. But I went in a little bit probably too close because there's sort of a bit up the side which I missed, which I thought, you know, to be fair, that's probably dried out quite a lot. Perhaps it's not as high in fiber and protein because it's dried out on the edge and normally you just throw that away. So I didn't go in for that. But this time I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do two lines this time and see if it still has a desired effect. See if that's any good. Just for trial and error, really. So let's, um, let's do that. Oh, nice low revs. Just let it gradually push it in. If I went full revs, it'd be like bedding up as well. Ooh, that's an idea. <laughs> right, uh, that way, that way. Not to push it the wrong way, do we? So no wastage this time. Right, second pass now. Make it even cleaner, even less waste. So doing two passes up through there, yeah, made it a lot cleaner, but generally that little bit on the edge, I wouldn't personally feed it back to my cows, but you can clean it up really nicely if you want to. Look how happy Daisy, Jemima and Ermintrude are. So they're chomping away on their silage. Anyway, the Westerman CM2 Clean Million is a beautiful little machine. I'm super impressed with it, even more than I was before. The silage auger, amazing. The scraper, and the cubicle brush, brilliant, absolutely love it. So benefits of this machine, right? You can put lots of different attachments on the front. It is very compact. It has a galvanized chassis. So when you're dealing with slurry and such like, it, you know, it's not gonna rust out as normal as it would. It's built like a brick outhouse. It's very, very strong. You've got different engine options. It's hydraulic driven, so you can use it on low power. It's amazing, you know, that pretty much everything we've done today, we've done on a quarter of tank of fuel, which is about a liter and a half of fuel for all of that. Amazing, for a petrol machine, absolutely brilliant. 
the engine options on it you can get sort of there's a cheaper option on the engine or you can have a honda engine option the attachment there's also a road brush you can get onto it's so a yard brush you can go up through and collect there are so many different things and we've got another video yet to come on some other attachments with it so make sure you subscribe to our channel like this video if you enjoyed it and please watch some more of our videos we'd highly appreciate it but we're machinery nation and we bring you videos all about tools and machinery so we'll see you in the next one cheerio <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.